Hello everyone, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, in this episode, we don't really have any grand plan or anything. Uh, we're just going to wait uh, for something to happen uh, and react to events as they come. Uh, see, we've got another betrothal. Uh, it'll be a few years before that goes through, but at least we've got uh, rid of one of our useless relatives. Uh, you get a lot of uh, relatives who don't do you much good. And so I set uh, the speed up to maximum here. And a lot of the game, particularly when you're small, is just waiting for events to happen. Um, oh, uh, Sultan Muhammad's made peace again, which is not good for us. Uh, the, be the more peaceful uh, he is, the more likely he is to turn his eye towards us. Which is the last thing in the world we want. Um, but there's not really anything we can do about it. We don't have the strength to oppose him directly. So. Oh. One of our child children has come of age our grandson, uh, and we are going to educate him personally as well, because he is uh, he is the son of our uh, duke here. Okay. Oh, one of my couriers has died, and uh, he was a guardian to um, grandson. Ah, but uh, we did get a pretty uh, good advantage from this death. Baron Garcia here uh, died without an heir, and thus we inherited his barony because we're his liege, which means that we now control every feudal type uh, domain in our territory, uh, which is good because that means we've got maximum troops now. Uh, 2,500. Um, this will aid us slightly, but we do need to appoint someone new to the council. Um, our best candidate for uh, for spymaster is our grandson, Aneko, uh, but he hates us. So we are actually going to go with the second best candidate, our wife, uh, Queen Leo de Gunda, uh, because... Uh, if your spy master hates you, they may discover plots, but they won't necessarily uh, you know, inform you of them. Oh, okay. A son was born to Prince Anso of Navarra. Excellent. The House of Iniga continues. Educate child. Let's see. We're just going to have him be educated. Yeah by our sister. Okay. Got more than 500 gold, which is good, uh, because that means that we'll be able to afford mercenaries here. Count Solomon of Ungel is trying to usurp my title. Chancellor of Urgel? Oh, I see. Um, he belongs to a foreign court. The Count of Ugel, uh, belonging to the Duke of Barcelona, who answers to King Louis, our ally. Um, trying to find a uh, claim on my title. Um, I guess I will try and make him disappear. The assassin succeeded. Excellent. Oh, our steward has uh, enraged the populace. Oh, Count Nuno of Vescaya. All right, let's assassinate him too. Galindo. Our grandson wants to play with friends instead of uh, studying. 
let's see here. Gain Roth Disciple. Uh, Gregarious is too powerful of a trait. Um, I don't know. From only, oh, our grandson is just now, which is not the best trait. Okay. And assassins succeeded again, which means that these little counts here are going to give us some trouble. They want our territory too. Um, oh, here we go. I can um, improve my relations with my couriers by giving them a day off. Okay. Oh. Uh, nothing continues to happen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording until something does happen. Alright, it is several months later, um, actually about three years later, uh, and I think our opportunity has finally come. Alvar has declared a Catholic uprising against Sultan Muhammad, which, uh, it's not terribly threatening, it's only got about 3,000 troops, uh, but it should distract uh, the Umayyad Sultanate while I make my move. Um, specifically, I now have 650 gold, which should be enough for me to hire a powerful mercenary company. Um, and, uh, you know, as a result, uh, actually have a chance of surviving against uh, the Umayyads. So, uh, conduct diplomacy, declare war, holy war for Aragon. If I succeed in this holy war, I'll have du more than doubled the size of my realm. Um, this is hugely risky, of course, because uh, it's likely that I won't succeed in this holy war, even with the mercenaries at my command, uh, but it's the only thing I can do. So send uh, the message, and now I can call in my allies. Uh, they're all very... Um... Okay, so um, it was a really dramatic war, and I really hate that I did not capture it. Uh, my video recording software crapped out on me. But um, thanks to the mercenaries and the timely intervention of my allies, I was able to win. Um, probably because uh, the Duke of Badajoz chose uh, that particular time to rebel against his liege. So now, whereas there was basically two powers in uh, Iberia. Now there are four. Um, although the war for uh, Badajoz territory is still ongoing. Uh, my next move strategically is to go after uh, the Duchy of um, Valencia. Let's take a look at our uh, du jour duchies because that will give me enough control over Aragon that I should be able to declare myself king. Uh, when you want to uh, declare yourself king of a territory, what you've got to do is go down to find title here and uh, type in the title that you want, Aragon, uh, specifically the kingdom of Aragon. And you can create the title here, uh, but you need to control 51% of its de jure counties, and I control four uh, of the 15. So these three, uh, and then one of the two in Barcelona is what I need. Um, which, you know, will be, will be nice. Uh, that's two holy wars, basically. Uh, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that sometime within the next generation. I can't do it now, uh, because uh, if I declared war, uh, I would be considered a truce breaker, and I'd lose 400 prestige and take a huge opinion hit, 
and get a penalty to my diplomacy. So I'm going to wait until 887. Ten years have passed. Should give me enough time to recuperate my troops. Uh, I now have 5,000, which does put me uh, on a more or less even footing with the Umayyads uh, if I can uh, regenerate my, my people. Um, but before then, I've got a lot of internal politics I need to take care of. Uh, my domain is currently 13 out of 5, and if I started time uh, with this imbalance, my gold income and uh, and troop levies would plummet like a stone. So I got to give away eight titles before I I start again. Um, and it is my hope that next time uh, we will uh, prepare for a future holy war and get enough of Iberia that we no longer have to fear the Muslims coming in from uh, from the south and wiping us out. Until then, good luck with your kingdom.